Anthony Greco, thanks for a $10 super chat. I'm trying to figure out how to set up GPS on a Diatone Roma F5 V2. Betaflight appears set up when I go fly. I'm never getting any sats. Any advice, video, tutorials I could look into? Um, so, Anthony Greco, let's assume that you are starting from scratch and you are setting up the GPS. In other words, that the quad didn't come with GPS pre-configured. Uh, the very first thing that you want to do is, hello, Betaflight. Come on, baby. Come on, Betaflight. There we go. Uh, the very first thing you want to do is go into the ports tab and you want to enable GPS on whatever port that you, uh, that you connected your GPS TX and RX wires to. And then you should say auto baud here. Okay. Don't set the baud rate manually. You don't need to do that. I mean, if you know for a fact what baud rate your GPS is expecting, manually setting the baud rate will slightly increase the, 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 the boot time, but you could just set auto baud. It's fine. And if it's not working, set auto because that's going to help it. Hey, I said auto. Hey, what are you doing? I said auto. Ooh, try to be clever. Then we're going to go to the configuration tab. And in the configuration tab, we want to enable GPS. Hold on, let me zoom in on this a little bit. We're going to enable GPS. And then what we want to do is set the UBlocks protocol, auto baud, and auto config. Okay? And then save. All right? Now, when you do that, you should see in the upper part of the screen that GPS turns yellow. Now, mine doesn't turn yellow because this is just a flight controller. It's not, it doesn't have a GPS. It's just literally sitting here on my desk for demonstration purposes. At that point, GPS should turn yellow. If GPS icon does not turn yellow, then the flight controller is not talking to the GPS unit and you cannot proceed, okay? You have to have the GPS icon yellow. Now, once you have the GPS icon turned yellow, the next challenge is getting the GPS to lock satellites. And this can be a problem because like the interfer electrical interference from the flight controller from the video transmitter can make it very, very hard to lock satellites. Anthony Greco says it was plug and play, so it came connected and I maintained the defaults. Uh, so, okay, so your GPS icon should be yellow, right? At that point, how do you get it to, to lock? The number one reason a GPS won't lock is that there's too much electrical noise. So you've got your quadcopter. Your quadcopter has a video transmitter. It's spewing RF emissions. It's got a receiver with telemetry transmissions. It's spewing out. There's all it, even the, the the processor on the flight controller can create high frequency noise that interferes with the GPS. Okay. Um. So how do you fix this? One way to fix this is to power up the GPS from USB. Now, if Diatone was smart, they already set, the, set it up this way. Plug in USB, don't plug in a battery, and see if the GPS lights up. And if it does, congratulations, that's, that's, that's your solution. If it doesn't, then you're gonna wanna move the GPS power to a pad that powers up from USB. So either the, if the GPS takes five volts, then the five volt pad that the receiver is using might output five volts from USB. Again, plug in USB, see if the receiver lights up. If it does, and if the GPS is already using five volts, move the GPS to the same five volt pad as the receiver. Or if the GPS is using 3.3 volts, then almost certainly it will light up from USB. Um, and some GPS can take between 3.3 and like six volts, in which case you might move the GPS from five volts to 3.3 volts. Regardless, you want to have the GPS power up from USB. And then what you do is at the field, you plug the USB, you plug USB into the flight controller, the GPS powers up, but the, but the, um, the video transmitter doesn't, and then it may get lock a little faster. Now you don't want it to light up from a battery because when you plug a battery in, the video transmitter is also broadcasting and it'll take forever to get lock. 
The other thing that you can look at is the the VFly GPS Mate, which is a device that provides external power to GPS units. So what this is, it's a little battery, it's a VFly buzzer, and it's a little battery that you plug your GPS into, and it lets you power your GPS unit up separately without ever powering your quad up. And again, it helps it get locked faster. Okay. So those are some things, those are some things to think about.